Welcome to Exchange Server Administration, migrating user to Microsoft 365. In this video, we will check and enable the MRS proxy for the migration. We will check and create the migration endpoint. We will assign a license to synchronize users. And finally, we will migrate desired mailbox to Microsoft 365. So let's move to the server and get started. Now we are on our Exchange Server and before migrating our users to Exchange Online, we have to make sure that MRS proxy is enabled. If I go and run this commandlet, get web services virtual directory format table auto identity MRS proxy enabled. It will show the result that MRS proxy is enabled or not. And you can also check it with the virtual directory AWS for EX02 2019. If I go to the properties of this, enable MRS proxy endpoint is checked. Let me cancel it. It is enabled for EX03 as well. And same result you will get from this commandlet. You can see that MRS proxy is enabled true for both the server. Also, we have to create a endpoint for our migration. So if we go to the recipient migration, you can see here migration endpoint. I have already created one migration and tested one mailbox migration and it was successful. So you can create it by just clicking on this add button and you can type the source forest email address kathy at techiejack.live and the domain credentials that is for techiejack admin and click on next. Here you can type the fqdn name for your MRS proxy that is mail.techiejack.live click on next and it will be configured. So I have already configured it. So make sure that MRS proxy is enabled. You have created the endpoint and after that you can start the migration. Every time when you start the migration, you have to start it from the Office 365. I have already done a one test with the Joe mailbox and it is completed successfully. And if you go to the enterprise mailbox, you can see the Joe mailbox has a mailbox type Office 365 and rest all are the users. That means they are the on-premises mailboxes and Joe have a mailbox on Office 365. And one more thing is that if you go to the Microsoft 365 admin center, if I try to move a Alex mailbox to Office 365 or Microsoft 365, the migration will be failed just because this is not licensed. So in order to provide the license, you can just click on Alex and you can manage the product license. But if you want to do it with the multiple users, you can just select the multiple users, go here, click on manage product license and click on replace, assign the license for Microsoft 365 account. So now only the 15 of 25 license will be available. Let me click on save. You can see the license are assigned. Let me click on done. So now all the users are licensed. Now we can start the migration process. So we can just click on this migrate to exchange online or migrate from exchange online. You can do the both thing. But in this case, we are just trying to migrate to exchange online. So I will click on migrate to exchange online and remote move migration is supported by exchange 2010 and later version. So this is the best fit for us. Stage migration is for 2003 and exchange 2007 only. We are not going to perform the cutover migration, neither IMAP or neither Google workspace migration. So I will select the remote move migration and will click on next. If you have a large number of user, you can upload the CSV file as well. But we have a few users, so we can select this option, select the user that you want to move. For the testing purpose, first of all, you have to move only a one mailbox. Let's try to move with the Alex. Click on OK. Next. And here we have an endpoint that is mail.techieject.live. And we will click on Next. And I will type the name as Alex Mailbox Migration. And target delivery domain will be the on Microsoft.com that is Microsoft 365. Move the primary mailbox and the archive mailbox if one exists. If this user have an archive mailbox, the both primary and archive mailbox will be migrated. Or if you want to migrate only an archive mailbox, you have a, another option there. But we have to move primary mailbox. So I will click on next. And once the migration is completed, the report will be sent to this user. I will start the migration automatically and will complete the migration manually. You can schedule it as well. So let's click on new saving completed successfully. Let's click on OK and you can see the Alex mailbox migration status syncing is started. So let's wait until the migration get completed. 
and the same way you can migrate the other user as well if we click on this migrate to exchange online again and this time we will select all the users except alex because alex is already moving i will select mandy john jack harry and kathy and we'll click on ok click on next the endpoint is fine click on next I will give the name as all user migration and we'll click on next and new saving completed successfully okay and here the five mailboxes are moving and here the one mailbox is moving so let's wait until it get completed also if you want to create a new mailbox you can see if you go to the mailbox in office 365 you don't have any option to create a mailbox you have to create it from the on premises because new mailboxes in a hybrid deployment are created in the exchange server on premises environment by using the exchange admin center or you can use the new remote mailbox commandlet or you can use the enable remote mailbox commandlet in exchange management shell to assign a mailbox to a existing ad user so we are on the on premises if you click on the mailboxes you can add the mailbox this is a user mailbox that will be created on premises and you can create office 365 mailbox through the exchange admin center so let me name it as a peter organization unit will be i will say sales and the login name will be the peter and mailbox type is a user mailbox room mailbox or equipment mailbox you can create the room mailbox and equipment mailbox on office 365 by this way only so the user mailbox is there i will confirm the password and here you can see it will create it on a office 365 if you want to create an archive mailbox you can check this box so let me save this it gave me an error that peter at techieject inside property user principal name is used by another recipient let me change it let me try to check it with peter1 let's try to save it now now it is saved so this is a office 365 mailbox but if you go here in the office 365 in the mailbox you will not see it here immediately so what we have to do we have to run this command let start ad sync sync cycle policy type delta this will enforce the synchronization the new mailbox which we have created from on premises will be then synchronized to the office 365 and in same way if you want to create a group you have to create it inside the on premises in hybrid environment you can create a group and that group will be synchronized to the office 365 in a next ad cycle let's try to see the migration if you see this all user migration you can see the total item is five and they are synced they are not finalized yet and they are not failed even so here if we go to the detail you can see the synced status is synced item synced there are the number of items synced and the item skipped is one for jack at techiejack.live and if you go to the exchange here in the new exchange panel and if we go to the migration you can see the alex mailbox migration is still syncing and all user migration is synced data consistency score is good percentage synced is 100 percent and it is synced this is a new look for the exchange admin center and this is the old one the sync has been completed so it says that all user migration complete this migration batch let me click this because we have set the manual completion of the migration batch are you sure you want to complete the migration batch i say yes so now you can see it's completing the migration batch and from here we can see the download the report you can download the report and you can see there this is a statistics skipped item details you can check the skipped item details as well for jack you can see we have a one item skipped so if you want to see the skipped item detail we can see that here it will give you the detail you can identify the skipped item detail from here so let me close this so if we go to the mailboxes now and if i refresh it here we have all the mailbox here and if you go to the exchange on premises mailboxes and if i go and refresh it here you can see these all the mailboxes are now on the office 365 now you can see the user inside the office 365 if i try to log in with the joe user to our exchange let's see what will happen i am trying to sign in with the joe user here you can see the use the following link to open this mailbox with the best performance it will give you the url automatically and if we click on this it will redirect us to the new link use another account i will say joe at techiejack.live and the password for the joe now you can see the joe mailbox is logged on to the office 365 i hope the video was informative and by completing this 
वी हैव सक्सेसफुली कॉन्फ़िगर्ड आवर एक्सचेंज हाइब्रिड एनवायरनमेंट